The ticket's booked. Have you had your jabs? You were looking at the human pincushion. <laughs> hey, did you see that email from David? Which one? About the gift I gave him. Very happy by the looks of it. Well, it matched his. Two grand, and being a gift certificate, he can even buy online and have it shipped. OK. Well, you know that little wristwatch he brought me last time? Simple and elegant. Not so simple, but very elegant. Top Swiss brand, £3,000. So what do I take him now? It's escalating, isn't it? Oh, I think we gave him the wrong signal. Well, I know what you said. If we played his game, it would get out of hand. But this is a really important trip. It's their whole negotiating team, and they're known to be tough. And if I get this wrong... OK, well, let's just think about it. I am thinking about it. No, you're panicking about it. It's not the same, OK? We can't just let it go on. Next time, he'll give me something even more valuable, and he'll expect the same in return. It's impossible. All these gifts, David says they're an expression of trust. So, trust him. With what I think. You trust him or you don't. You mean just tell him. No, it's our problem, isn't it? I mean, well, it's his and our problem. We want to fulfil his customs, but we have to stay within the law. Share the problem. You never know, he might have an idea. At least he'll be sympathetic. He might even be flattered. That we know he doesn't want to embarrass you. Or visit you in prison. Neither do I, for that matter. Well, you'll be in a different one. You're right. He wouldn't expect me to put myself at risk. He does things his way, but he says he's a friend. And he says he trusts me. So... What I'll do is get him something which is personal to me. Something that's meaningful. I mean, it doesn't have to be expensive to be valuable. I think he'd appreciate that. Thanks. <laughs>